Hello peoples, this is Beta Knights, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Paper Mario. In the last episode, we fell down, um, basically in a gap, where this veranda used to be. Fell down here, went off to the left, found the hammer, the hammer, hammer, the megaton hammer, I wish. We found the hammer, which lets us destroy blocks, but not all blocks. I know it basically makes Mario shiver when he hits it. And in this episode, we will continue on our way to, hopefully, find our way back to Goomba Village and continue on further with the game. I know I'm making kind of slow progress so far, guys, but hopefully we'll pick up soon. You got the Fire Flower, a flower that burns all enemies with fireballs. Attack power 3. Now, that's our first instance of an attack item. Uh, it's useful for things like bob bombs and certain other enemies will be weak to fire. Uh, and don't get it wrong, just because this is Paper Mario doesn't mean everything is weak to fire. Heads up, Mario. Heads up, Mario. I see, I see bad Goomba's head. And loyal Bowser. If they see you, they'll attack without hesitation. What voice am I giving you? Jeez. If you can successfully attack an enemy in the field with jump or hammer, you'll get the first strike when you enter the battle. Striking first really helps when it comes to battling. That it does. That it does. Eh, I can't shake that one. Anyway. This is basically a first strike, guys. Jump on an enemy as you enter the battle. And you'll get a preemptive strike. Now that, as you can see with Goombas at least, will allow us to kill them on the first turn because Goombas in this game have, t at least normal Goombas, have 2 HP. So hitting them that first preemptive strike and then since you always go first, hitting them with your next attack, you will basically always get them- Hey, 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 nope, nope. I see you there, I see you there. Now this is a spiked Goomba. You suck, Goomba. This is a spike, Goomba. See the spike on his head? Be careful not to jump on him. You'll definitely get hurt. Ah, <sighs> yeah, I bet that. So basically, for this enemy, use your hammer. Now, if I would have gotten that preemptive strike, I would have been able to kill him already and not get hurt. But no, don't do that. I just said... I even just said don't do that. <laughs> oh, well, as you can see, spike Goombas, they give you a few more star points, but they do also do more damage. They do also do that. I like how he was hiding behind a mushroom. Anyway, here we have a Paragoomba. Paragoombas are flying Goomba enemies. Listen up, Mario. The enemy is flying. Your hammer won't reach enemies in the air. To attack airborne enemies, use a jump attack. You can jump over one enemy to attack one behind it, too. This is good advice. Remember it. So basically, he's just saying how flying enemies in this game are, effect are not affected by the hammer. So basically, it's normal enemies, use anything. Spiked enemies, don't jump. Flying enemies, don't hammer. But a lot of the flying enemies in this game, if you attack them with a... Uh, if you attack them with your jump attack, typically it'll cause them to fall. Now you get some hearts back, right up here. Now the beginning part has a lot of battles. Uh, by the way, guys, I want your opinion. I'm probably going to be cutting out a lot of battle, a lot of the random battle. Well, not random, but a lot of these battles in the game. I'll probably be cutting out quite a few of them, just because it gets really, it can get really repetitive at times, and I don't want to be sitting here and just like have you guys watch me do the same thing, and have all my episodes be super long just because of things like that. I mean, you got a star piece. It's a glowing star piece. Wait and see what this is for. Yeah, that's useful for later. There's a shop that you unlock that you can use those things to basically get. Kind of like equips. This this game has basically like an equip system, but I'll get into that later because I don't really want to spoil too much now. All right? Never worry, kids. Here I am. Thanks to young Mario here, I made it back. All right. So anyway, I'm gonna be cutting out a lot of the battles in this game if I can. Uh, not the big battles, like obviously not boss battles and important battles and stuff like that. But like uh, maybe if it's like an enemy that I haven't fought before or something like that, or if if the battle's not too long, I won't bother cutting it. But I don't know, tell me what you guys think. Oh, is that thing locked? Let me open it for you. And it's open, and it's locked from the outside, I have no idea why. Goomba, where have you been? I looked outside and wow, both you and the veranda were just plain gone. Goomba, I was very, very worried about you. Really worried. Sorry kids, I apologize. I didn't mean to make you fret. You just take it easy now. I'm back safe and sound. Now, 
before I forget, I've decided to give you something, Mario. Wait here a minute. Huh? Hey, that doll you've got. That's the one Goombaria lost. She was looking all over for it. Would you give it back to her? No! Yeah, of course I will. <coughs> okay, until my cop goes away completely, I can't do that. It's my dolly! Dolly, dolly! You're back! Thank you so much, heart! I'm so happy, my sweet dolly! Don't you ever get lost again! Here's a present for me! Look at the pretty glitter! Ooh, and we get another star piece! Nice! And take this, too! Ah, she kissed Mario! Mario's cheating on Peach! You always seem to beat up your enemies. Do you work out? I study self-defense by reading books by the masters and listening to Dad and Goompa. Also, I exercise every day so I can be strong like you. It's starting to show too. I'm getting big muscles. Oh yeah, I can tell. Look, you're doing squats right now. Yeah, Goombardo's head is hard as a rock now. Hee <laughs> hee. When he does his head bonk move, it really, really hurts. Goombario, how does she know that it really, really hurts? Have you been beating up your little sister? Oh, be quiet, Goombaria. Yeah, you're giving a secret away that he's beating you up. You're embarrassing me. Of course, it is true. <laughs> anyway, here comes the Goomba with the Fez hat. Sorry to have kept you waiting, Mario. It's okay, Goomba. We're just rapping with Mario. Epic rap battles of history. Plumber versus Goomba. Oh, rapping, huh? Sorry. I wanted to give this to Mario. You got the power jump badge. Mario stomps on a single enemy using lots of using a lot of attack power. Now, guys, this is basically the equip system I was talking about in this game. It comes in the form of badges, which actually in Paper Mario, it's one of my favorite things about this game. I love the badge system. But we'll get into the details about that later. It gets a little complicated, and we don't have much to really go on now. This is called a badge. If you wear this, you'll be able to do a power jump, which means you'll be able to do a lot more damage with your jump attack. Listen here, and listen well. You'll only be able to do it if you're wearing the badge. You better try it first. Putting badges on and taking them off is a vital skill. Would you, take a quick, would you like a quick lesson on how to use the badges you collect during your travels? I might as well. I'll explain it. But anyway, guys, basically, basically equipping badges and everything is really simple. Ah, oh, whatever. Basically, press start. You'll get to your menu here. Go over to badges. All badges. There's all badges and active badges. Active badges will basically just show which ones you have equipped. Go to all badges. You see power. Power jump right there. It says we need one BP, which is badge points, and that that's how many. Basically, we need one BP to equip it, or we need that many available at least. And as you can see in the bottom left of this portion of the screen, at least we have three BP to start us off in this game. The badge is now on. Press the A button again and take it off. Yep. And he won't let me put it back on. Now remember, you need FP flower points to use this power jump technique. Do you remember that we saw a block like this on the way back to the village? Well, these blocks will restore not only HP, but also FP. They're lifesavers, Mario. Use them whenever your HP and FP are reserves are getting low. By the way, Mario, I heard from Goomba. You're taking it up, up upon yourself to try and rescue the princess from Bowser's clutches. Always. Oh yeah, Mario can beat Bowser with one hand tied behind his back. Hush now, Goombario. Mario, please take this hammer. It should serve you well. If I were just a bit younger, I'd accompany you on your trip. I'd have done some damage. The years have started to weigh on me, though. I tell you, this lower back pain. Uh, no offense, but you, your lower back seems like all of your back. Adventure, you're so lucky. Princess rescuing is so cool. I want to be an adventurer too someday. Me too. Oh, here's an idea. Gumbario. Perhaps the timing is perfect. You're no longer a child and evil times are upon us. I'm sure Mario will agree. You should accompany Mario. What? Really? May I go, Koompa? May I really go? Yes! Oh, yeah! Mario, you won't regret this. Goombario, join your party. Press down. Press C down to have him tell you about people, places, or things nearby. When you're interested, just ask him. Goombario is also helpful during battles. Yes. Just kidding. He can tackle his head bunker, he can tell you about an enemy's features and HP using his title ability. Way to go, Goombario! Mario, I know Goombario will prove to be a worthy companion. Well, I think it's about time for my nap. I'll be in the house. Goodbyes have a way of making this old Goomba get weepy. See you later, Goompa. 
This is so cool, Mario. Let's go. Wait, your HP looks a little low. Maybe you ought to take a rest in the Toad House. Well, I suppose we could do something like that. Anyway, this is basically what it was saying, guys. Down the seasick. This is Goomba Village. My family lives here. There's also a Toad House, which, as you probably know, is a good place to take a rest. That big tree near my house is a great place to get Goom Nuts. Ah, that's a little useful tidbit at the end there. Now, guys, basically, uh, I guess, to say it in the easiest way possible, left C gives you your items. Up C will make your... Oh, will make your menu at the top of the screen appear at any time, or disappear. Right on C gives you your party members, and as you saw, down on C will actually let you use your partner abilities. Alright, come here, talk to the toad. Refresh your body and mind. I think that's what it said. Then yeah, if you feel tired, a good rest will fix you right up. Would you like to take a rest? Take a nap. Make yourself comfortable and enjoy your stay. And our partner gets inside of our pants, and a toad watches us sleep. This is going to be a wonderful game. Do you sleep well? Take care now. See what he said? Nope. Never mind. I was trying to see what he said in the beginning, so they skipped it. Anyway, let's head over this way. And sure enough, you got the Goom Nut. A special nut found only in Goomba Village. Restores 3 FP. I guess useful to have in the beginning of the game. Now if you want, you can save on your way through here. Maybe a good idea, but that's up to you. Dad, did you hear? I'm going out adventuring with Mario. I'll make you proud, Dad. I swear it. Just wait. Do your best, son. You've grown into a strong boy. I know you'll be a great help. It's a good thing you spent so much time training, huh? Now do your old Goompapa proud. I find it funny that his grandpa sent him out on this journey and his dad didn't even get a say initially. There we go. Problem solved. I have a feeling your road will be lined with difficulties, so try not to overdo it. Be watchful, yet stay cool. A calm mind is the wisest. Oh, hang on now, Mario. I noticed you aren't wearing the badge Goompa gave you. You know that badge won't do anything if you don't wear it. I think you better put that thing on before you go. Yeah, I forgot that the, the tutorial didn't let me put it back on. Anyway, I might as well equip that while we have it. I'll show it off when I get the chance. Anyway. Beware of Goombas. Ah! Ah! No! You don't need to give me an example. Well, excuse me, jeez. Excuse me, princess. Okay, sorry, I had, I had to make that reference. I I just recently got uh, Netflix, the DVD service for Netflix, and the next one they're sending me is actually the animated, the old animated series for Legend of Zelda, so I can't wait to watch that. And it's like that's like the only quote I know, just about. Hey Mario, during the battle, you could change the order we attack and we see. I can attack first if you want. I don't mind at all. Just keep it in mind, okay? And yes, you can do that. Uh, the Z button on the GameCube controller is actually the L button. Uh, for whatever reason, even though there is a Z button on the GameCube controllers. I don't know. Maybe it has something to do with the classic controller. Anyway, as you can see, he has a tattle ability here. See enemy description and make HP visible. I guess I can show this off. This is a Goomba. Goombas are what you'd call small fries. Actually, they're pretty much the smallest fries. Hey, wait! I'm one of them! Max HP 2, attack power 1, defense power 0. You can jump on them or whack them with your hammer. These guys are old school. They've been around since you were in Super Mario Bros. Breaking the fourth wall much? Anyway guys, as you can see right there, that is the title ability and if you noticed, it actually showed an HP bar beneath the Goomba. Oh, we got a mushroom. Now there's actually something special about that. If you see now, with these Goombas, they now have HP bars beneath them because we tattled them. Uh, no, nah, I'll show off the power. Or no, nah, I won't show off the power jump just yet. Oh, I'll well, just take out some Goombas. Okay, and I took down the two little groups of Goombas there. I can tell this game's gonna be a bugger to cut. <laughs> and I've got a pair of Goomba there. Hit him with the first strike. And I guess while we get the chance, we can tattle a pair of Goomba. Yeah, if you tattle the Goomba after you knock its wings off, it'll just count as a normal Goomba. This is a pair of Goomba. Obviously, pair of Goombas are Goombas with wings. Max HP 2, attack power 1, defense power 0. You can't hit him with a hammer while they're airborne. If you damage them, they'll fall to the ground and become ordinary Goombas. <coughs> so basically tells them some stuff that we already know. I guess I could use this chance to show off power jump. 
Now we do 3 damage with that, able to take out our full HP Goomba in one hit. Not too shabby. Not that these guys are too difficult in the beginning of the game anyway. But we at least get that. Now later on there is a badge you can actually get that, compl that completely makes Tattle obsolete. Uh, you can still tattle things just for the uh, just for the heck of it, or if you want to read it, because sometimes they do have at least fairly funny uh, or fairly amusing uh, tattle log entries. Goombas with spikes in their heads. Whatever you do, don't jump on the their or your spikes, or you get hurt or even paralyzed. Yeah, it's it's good to see the enemy stats as well. I might as well take that one out. I don't mind taking damage from the Goomba as much. But again, all Goombas are Goombas in this game. Later on, there actually are some that can give you trouble, but... Uh, that's not until quite a bit later in the game. I think around, like, Chapter 3 or something like that. Oh, we got another Mushroom. Okay, these, these red blocks here, guys. Pay attention to them, because they actually hold badges. We got the close call badge. This one, when you're in danger, it makes it so which is five health or below. It makes it that sometimes the enemies will miss you. Very useful badge, it only costs one BP, I would recommend it. Okay. Eat a mushroom and regain your energy. When HP gets low, eat a mushroom with left on C. Uh, let's see, how's our HP? Eh. It's a little low, but I think we'll still survive. And another group of Goombas down. Thumbs up. And we got a heart block. Fully healing us. But a heart block in the middle of an area usually signifies one thing. Hey, hey, hold it right there. You, yeah you, suspicious guy. Don't move. I love the music of this part. I don't know why. It's so simple, but I, I just like it. It's catchy. Aha, you're Mario. I knew it. You can't go past here, Mr. Big Shot. It's a direct order from the Goomba King. That's right. I'm sorry, but the only way by is through the Goomba Bros. That's me, Red Goomba, and my brother, Blue Goomba. Yeah, your parents were extremely creative with that, weren't they? Let's get him, Blue Goomba. Oh yeah, let's do it, my red brother. And here we get into a slightly more serious fight, though, again, nothing too dangerous. Anyway, we have that heart block that we just passed, so might as well go straight into this with... Some more powerful hits, I suppose. And I guess while well, we get the chance, this is Blue Goomba. He's the younger of the two notorious Goomba Bros. Max HP 6, attack power 1, defense power 0. As you heard in his little speech, he's one of the Goomba King's men. He doesn't look that healthy. He's weaker than his brother. That was kind of sad. Mario, how'd you like some of this? Oh no, one damage. You're so much more powerful than every other Goomba in this game. Might as well get some distributed damage around here. I usually like to focus my attacks on one enemy, but in this case, it doesn't really matter too much. This is the Red Goomba. He's the older of the two notorious Goomba Bros. Max HP 7, attack power 1, defense power 0. The Goomba King ordered, you, ordered him to try and stop you. You can take this guy, no problem. He has just a little more HP than an ordinary Goomba. And only one more HP than his brother, so nothing too shabby. Nothing too good either. Anyway, keep attacking. Not really a whole lot you can do here. Actually, I'll take out the red one. <sighs> Sorry if the battle seems kind of slow so far, guys. Like I said, the beginning of the game, the battles are really script. They seem really scripted. I mean, they're like I said, there's not really a whole lot you could do in the way of variety, which really does suck, to be honest. But, I mean, what can you do, really? I get a nice amount of star points there. R Red Goomba, my brother! No, you meanie, Mario! Ah, That's sad. I basically just killed his brother right in front of him. I just realized. This will be in the game. Ooh! Okay, that's that's actually a case of the close call badge working, guys. <coughs> Sorry. As you can see, he actually got... <coughs> Mario got lucky there, and... The blue Goomba actually missed. That would have put me into peril. Yeah, I 
I'll let you go for now. Oh, poor guys. Anyway, guys. They run off. Mario does just a quick little thumbs up. And I think we'll be ending off this episode here. I mean, there's not much more for us to go through the prologue, but still, it's enough to make this episode too long if I keep going. So for now, I think we'll call this a day. Guys, this has been Beta Knights for Let's Play Paper Mario. Still feels weird saying Let's Play and then following up with something so short compared to something so long like before. But anyway, guys, this has been Beta Knights. In the next episode, we continue on, chase after the Red and Blue Goombas, prob more than likely find the Goomba King, whoever he is. And continue on with our little adventure. Hopefully we'll get to Toad Town. So guys, I will catch you all next time. I hope you're liking the LP so far. Have a good night, y'all. And bye-bye for now.